Hi, welcome to Drum Chapel St Andrew's Virtual Church. I hope you're well and I hope you're doing okay. I hope too that you will be able to get some sort of a break over the summer and a chance to take some time out. Plans are well underway now for reopening church on Sunday 16th of August. There are various regulations and advice and guidelines that we have and nearer the time we'll get those out to you just so that you know what we can do and what we can't do. Church will look very different. At the moment our guidelines are that we're not allowed any more than 50 people and we have had to rearrange all the seating uh, because the fabric seats will require to be steam cleaned. We've moved all of them and so it's plastic seats and they can be wiped down afterwards and we'll give you more details because there are certain groups who are being advised that it's not wise for them to come to church yet. So we will tell you more about that nearer the time because over the next three weeks possibly things will change. But on the positive side, it does look like we're getting ready to start up again on the 16th of August. Our theme for today is wishing well and a really warm welcome to you to Virtual Church. It has been fantastic just to have such an online community and an online family. And so even once we reopen church, I will still be putting something online and uh, probably uh, putting songs on as well and at least part of the service so that if you are tuning in to us from elsewhere, you can still connect with us uh, during the week and on a Sunday and still be part of our church family because it is an absolute pleasure to have you and to be connecting with you. I invite you again to pause me when it's time for a song and the, the links for the different songs on Facebook are in the post below this one. If you're on YouTube, if you go down to the comment section, sometimes that will be under a whole load of recommended videos by YouTube. So if you go down to the comment section and the first comment on the video will give you the links to all the different songs and the services also on our church website as well. And you can connect there. Our first song is I Have a Dream. This would be our sharing time, so thoughts with you for whatever's going on right now. I hope that you're having a good summer so far. And good wishes to you if it's your birthday. Hope that you will have a really happy day if it's still ahead of you, or that you had a good day if it's been the last past week. So happy birthday to you. I was trying to think how many things you can get wishes from or wish on and I was thinking that just just now because I've just said good wishes for your birthday and there are so many things that seem to have wishes and my challenge to you is to see how many things you can think of that you get wishes from and you can either pause me now and do that or you can wait until I share some of the things that I've thought of because I'm sure I won't have got all of them. So challenge to you to find how many things have wishes attached to them. The things I was thinking of were wishing well. Genie. Star, wishing on a star. A dandelion, you know when you blow it and make a wish. Candles, when you blow out a candle and make a wish. And a sneeze and make a wish. But I am sure there are more than that. So if you can think of some more, let me know what you think of. And I was wondering why we have so many. There seem to be so many different ways in which wishes are part of our lives. And we see that all the time. If it's somebody's birthday, we give them a wish. If somebody is doing something, 
either hard or exciting, we pass on good wishes to them. And I think it's because wishes are a really significant part of our lives. That wishes help us to look forward. They're exciting. And wishes are about who you are. Because who you are is about what you look forward to. The adventures that lie ahead of you. And there are good things just waiting for you. And there are good things that we wish for others. And it's good to believe that there are things out there that can help to make those wishes come true. Sometimes wishes do come true. And it's amazing. And sometimes wishes don't come true. And life is strange that way, because you can't second guess how life is going to be. Sometimes you say, I wish. And what that means is that you are going to do whatever you can to make that thing you wish for come true. And sometimes you say, Oh, I wish, meaning you wish you'd done something a different way or you wish that something had worked out a different way. Wishes are a big part of our life. I think you need wishes because I think that wishes show us that there is magic in life. That's what faith is about. Faith is about believing that good things can happen. And when you make a wish, you play a part in making it happen. Magic is about you as well as about the world. Because there is a power in wishes and a power in magic. Things don't always work out the way we want them to. But when you wish, you always bring something brighter to the future, to life, to the lives of others. And when you wish somebody all the best, it means that you are putting something of yourself into what's happening in their life. And so today, there are lots of chances for us to make wishes. And there are lots of wishes for us to make. Let's make those wishes and discover the power that wishes have. Let's do a prayer. God, I love making wishes. Because wishes mean that I'm buying into the future. I'm recognising who I am, what's really important to me, and what I want to make happen. I want to discover the power in wishes. I want to see the magic in my life, in the lives of others, and in the world around me. And I want to make things happen. Amen. Our song is Fight Song. Uh, it's a song with lots of different pictures about small things becoming big. And about how you can change life by your wishes and by who you are and believing in what you can do. Fight Song. I invite you to share in our prayer. God, along life's path, I find you in so many places. I find you in stories in the Bible. 
in the wisdom of different faiths and beliefs. In books, quotes, films, music. I find you in the words of friends and family, in laughter and in tears. I find you in my own heart, in my thoughts and in my emotions. I find you in meditation and in prayer in being mindful and in asking questions. I find you in travelling and when I am still. I find you in challenges and in adventures, in wishes and dreams sometimes in fears. I find you in silence and in noise. I find inspiration sometimes in the most unlikely of situations. A value the peace of this moment. When I invite peace into my heart, I deal with everything in a better way. I find ways to resolve situations and obstacles. I find I can let go of regret. I recognise my abilities and my capabilities. I affirm my own worth and I celebrate who I am. I affirm others and I appreciate that others sometimes make different choices than I would have made. A thought today for all who are finding their life journey hard, for all who have difficult decisions to make, for all who are hurting, lost, struggling. A thought for those facing health issues, a prayer for healing, or for strength. I value the times I am vulnerable, although I hate being vulnerable. But I recognise that vulnerable is not weak, but strong. A thought for those seeking asylum. A thought for those dealing with crises, loss, relationship, finance, job, anxiety. A wish for peace in my own heart and to put out into the world and share with all whose paths I cross. Amen. Our Bible story is from Matthew 13 verses 31 through 33. Jesus told them another story. The kingdom of heaven's like this. A farmer takes a mustard seed and sows it in a field. 
it is the smallest of all seeds. But when it grows up, it is the biggest of all plants. It becomes a tree so that birds come and make their nests in its branches. Jesus told them still another story. The kingdom of heaven is like this. A woman takes some yeast and mixes it with a bushel of flour until the whole batch of dough rises. And a reading from Maya Angelou. I've learned that no matter what happens or how bad it seems today, life does go on and it will be better tomorrow. I've learned that you can tell a lot about people by the way he or she handles these three things. A rainy day, lost luggage and tangled Christmas tree lights. I've learned that making a living is not the same thing as making a life. I've learned that life sometimes gives you a second chance. I've learned that you shouldn't go through life with a catcher's mitt on both hands you need to be able to throw something back. I've learned that whenever I decide something with an open heart, I usually make the right decision. I've learned that even when I have pains, I don't have to be one. I've learned that every day you should reach out and touch someone. People love a warm hug or just a friendly pat on the back. And for me, I've learned that that doesn't have to be physical. I've learned that I still have a lot to learn. I've learned that people will forget what you said People will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. And our song is I Cannot Tell. I love wishing wells. There's a wishing well in the walled garden at Mugduk Park. I used it last summer. Unfortunately, I had to ask for my money back because it didn't seem to be working. I have always had a feeling that wishing is more than just hoping for the best. Unfounded optimism, meaningless superstition. There is something in a wish about investing in your future, in feeling that your life is not predetermined, in recognising that somewhere inside you have the power to make things happen. The law of attraction says that you can bring good things into your life. Karma says if you create good energy and put it out into the world, it will make a difference and it will make a difference in your life and in the world. What happens in your life is not mapped out, but neither is it random. Gary Player, the golfer, said, the harder I practice, the luckier I get. How does any of that relate to today's story? Well, lots of Jesus' stories 
are about small things becoming big. At one level, obviously, that's how life works. Seeds grow, yeast makes bread rise. Small things become big things. There's nothing intentional in that. It's just how things are naturally. You plant a mustard seed, it becomes a mustard tree. I don't know what a mustard tree is. I didn't even feel the need to Google it. Because it doesn't really matter. You get the picture. The image is of setting something in motion. You don't always know how it's going to work out. But in putting something out there, you create possibility. An old joke. A minister is kneeling at the front of his church, praying to God. Oh God, please let me win the lottery. I have prayed this prayer every day for a year. Why won't you answer it? Our church is falling down and we have no money. And suddenly, a huge voice fills the whole church. I have heard your prayer. How about meeting me halfway? Gonna buy a ticket. I invite you to pause me for a moment and to watch the video, What is Your Biggest Regret? What you plant in your life today becomes what you will find in your life tomorrow. What you plant in the world today becomes what you will find in the world tomorrow. It's not just about how things work out. It's way bigger than that. A few years ago, I was doing an assembly at school and I was doing some magic. It was way too complicated. I should have known. It needed me, first of all, to get the instructions right. And that's a big enough ask in itself. It involved maths and knowing the difference between left and right. Guaranteed disaster. How did I not see it? Predictably, I made an absolute mess of it. And I'm saying goodbye to the kids as they're going out of the hall. And I'm putting on a brave face, but inside I am feeling so rubbish. And as the kids are filing past, this girl stopped and said, Mr Purvis, you're the best minister ever. She will never know the difference that that thought made to me that day. In one moment, she changed my life. One thoughtful comment becomes something absolutely amazing and turned around everything I felt in that moment. What we plant today counts. Wishes may seem meaningless. They aren't. There is a power in wishes. There is a magic in wishes. Because your wishes are at the heart of who you are. They are what you want to become. They are what you see 
in the world. They are how you start to change the world. If you leave a garden alone, which is one of my specialties, you will get a random wild garden. And that's okay. That can look good. Or you can choose what you plant in your garden. What you're going to put where. What you want to keep. And what you want to lose. You can create a garden and make it what you want it to be. You can create the future. There's a really powerful concept in positive psychology developed by Martin Seligman called learned optimism. And it's an A, B, C, D, E, five steps where you change your circumstance around by the way that you see it. Learned optimism. A is for adversity. Something happens. B is for the beliefs we automatically have. Invariably we react negatively. I can't do this. This is a disaster. C is for the consequences of that belief, of how things work out when you see things and believe things negatively. D is for your disputing that automatic belief. And E is the energy you get when you dispute it successfully. In five steps, you can turn everything around. Try it. With growth, there is always an element of what happens naturally. But that doesn't mean we have no part to play in it. You have a wishing well. What are you going to put in it today? What wishes are you going to make? Mark Twain said, 20 years from now, you will be more disappointed by the things you didn't do than by the things you did do. So throw off the bow lines. Sail away from the safe harbour. Catch the wind in your sails. Let's do a prayer. God, today I stand at my wishing well. I may never have noticed it before. I may not have given it much thought. But today, I believe in the power of wishes. What wishes will I share with my wishing well today? How much of myself will I commit to those wishes? Will I have the courage to pay the price of making those wishes come true? Amen. I invite you to join in just a moment for reflection just now. The music that we'll listen to is River Flows in You by Yeruma. And our song is Gather Us In. Thanks so much for checking in today. It's been great to connect with you. I hope that you'll have a good week ahead. Take care. 
our closing song is You Raise Me Up and then after that I've linked our closing prayer May God's blessings surround you today Take care Thank you.